Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer for DK Inquisitor Prophecy where we with no further to go directly in the breathing why to blabber around I would say and here we are the Black Legion invasion caught the defenders of Nereus for completely off guard it is an understandable but still unforgivable he's true fading i must find a way to reorganize the defenders and aruse their fighting spirit before the imperium loses another valuable world to the ruinous powers captain any news about our situation it's not great inquisitor the air is full of desperate Fox transmissions. The initial attack of the Black Legion came without warning. They have overrun the local headquarters of the Astra Militarum. According to the latest reports, he was captured with his retinue. All right, all right, all right. I am right now not very certain whether I already remember this mission or not. But anyhow, we will simply now pass a little bit through it. What I like, um, I don't know whether that is on purpose or um, just a coincidence, since we uh, technically now um, maybe in the real um, campaign now, but um, the insurgents or the attacks right now um, bring a little bit of um, urgency right now and the multiple things going on feel like we have to move quickly so that feels very very cool I think still in the beginning here I was a little bit afraid that our little um, constructs were not doing so good but right now I feel good again that is very very good and the shooting attacks there seem to be quite powerful. What I like, of course, is that he's firing two shots, not one, from both hands. And, on the other hand, to be completely honest with you, I think he does more damage than he does in close combat. Although, you might argue the other way around, that um, for if he goes close combat, of course, he is probably the most amazing guy in close combat because he's so tanky and the rest of the guys can do the This is High Marshal Albrecht Corte, acting senior commander of the Astra Militarum. I hereby proclaim the unconditional surrender of all remaining Imperial forces, including the Astra Militarum regiments, planetary defense forces and the local militia. Further resistance would be a futile waste of Imperial life. Understood. I lost the point because I think I wanted to say um, he's the best tank we have, but on the other hand, as as far as the AOE or the um, kiting, not kiting, but the um, the aggro in this game seems to work is that he can't hold the aggro from quite a lot of enemies so it for my for my humble opinion seems like having him plus many many having him in the background and doing or having more smaller enemies doing not enemies but constructs doing the damage and taking off the aggro seems to be quite the best choice although I am of course not certain whether that is the right thing right now um, what you might not know and I think I showed it a for a second in our last episode we of course can summon tarantula turrets as well um, later on even with rocket or rocket launchers flamers I think and those nasty little bolt gun guys but I think with the close combat um, 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 constructs which are basically theoretically swarming the enemies it feels way better for the playstyle here that's just my opinion but that might be the key to success with this character, which I before did not have. Well, I I didn't get it. I didn't get it before. So 
um, I need to take that on me, although I am not certain how that how we would bear against a sentinel or a hello brute, a dreadnought. Because especially dreadnoughts and hellbrutes, of course, combine two things. Flame us, for example, um, which is AoE damage plus summoning new enemies. And I don't know how we fare against flamer turrets, for example, but we should do good, I think. We should do very, very good overall. I like our guys. So there we have a little bit of a AoE guy. But what is of course the very, very, very important thing for us, we have more guys and that feels very, very good. So let's resummon at least them. The turret is down. Our constructs are damaged but not down. That is very, very good as well. And you see, we are a little bit being swarmed and we are holding up. That is so cool. Although, what I would like to have some sorts of would be... Um, a little bit of AOE backup damage, but anyhow, maybe that is going to come in the future, so to say. I should retreat a little bit, that is always sometimes very, very important as well. All of them are down, that is good. I am still not certain, well, probably we are going the right way, I hope at least that. So, a champion which with all the damage done is not no real deal although for example reborn marauders they might be a problem it's time to silence the cowardly propaganda once and for all oh sorry i was just sipping a little tea there so now i need to keep the health of our guys a little bit at at my eye in order to resummon them um, properly so that might be a little bit of the downside that we can't really um, say attack this and this target I it doesn't feel like they are just attacking our target or the target which we are attacking but anyhow we are doing so far so good I think okay one guy remains not for long I hope I can. So I will. How are you faring down there, Inquisitor? I will work in this Emperor Forsaken City is done. The Vox station is silenced and the Black Legion traitors are decimated. We'll leave the rest for the Loyalist forces. So, but we need to judge the High Marshal and we know what we are already going to do. Not going the hard way. So let's talk to him then. High Marshal Corte, explain us. What? Where am I? Cursed sorcery! Inquisitor, I wasn't myself! I swear by the Emperor I could never betray our cause! Alright, the um, uninitiated stand no chance against the powers of the war. I will spare the High Marshal's life, but I expect gratitude from him. We live in a grim galaxy. Weakness deserves no remorse. I have no choice but to execute the High Marshal. But I go with the radical decision again. A smart decision, Inquisitor. The gratitude of a High Marshal is a strong currency. Oh yeah, I think so too. So, the good part is we can now go quickly through our item. Since we haven't faced with our current rollout completely um, a real AoE damage target um, or AoE um, giving out target, I am really, really curious how we are going to fare against a real damage AoE flamer type of target. But anyhow, that at the right time at the right point will of course hopefully then finally come to us so this is 20 so we can put that right there but for now guys i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye